Manding, four things to know. This video continues the series on Skinner's verbal behavior. Skinner created the verbal operants, which are echoics, mans, tacts, intraverbals, and autoclitics. What are mans? Mand is another word for request. Mands can be single words or complex sentences. It's vital for a child to know how to mand for their needs. How should we teach manding? There are three steps to teach manding. Number one, identify highly preferred items. Number two, withhold the item and prompt the mand. And number three, reinforce and shape the mand. How long does it take to learn to mand? Every parent wants to know how quickly their child will learn, but it's impossible for anyone to predict. What we do know is that consistency is key. Children who are given lots of practice will have better outcomes. Why teach manding? Children who can mand often have lower rates of challenging behavior. There are four functions of behavior or reasons that people do things. Number one, to get attention. Number two, to gain access to items. Number three, to escape or avoid things. Or number four, for automatic or sensory reinforcement. If the child can communicate their need to escape, to get things, to get attention, or for sensory, they won't need to engage in challenging behavior. Communication is a right. It can be spoken words, sign language, picture exchange, or voice output devices. But mans are only one of the verbal operands. Let's connect online at www.sidebysidetherapy.ca by email at info at sidebysidetherapy.ca or by phone at 1-877-797-0437. Side by Side Therapy, empowering parents to empower their children.